Hi class, welcome to Math is Fundamental. Today we're going to be talking about rotations. So this is our third lesson in our unit on transformations. All right, so let's talk about a rotation. So a rotation is a transformation in which a figure is turned about a fixed point. Now the direction can be clockwise as shown in the picture, or it can be counterclockwise. And there's a little clockwise, there's a little note here um, unless otherwise stated, the direction is going to be counterclockwise. Um, and that just goes with how we deal with uh, degrees in our unit circle when we get into higher levels of math. All right, so the number of degrees of a figure uh, rotates, or the number of degrees that a figure rotates, is called the angle of rotation. And the point about which the figure rotates is called the center of rotation. All right, now as I mentioned in our last video, notation is one of the most difficult things about transformations and it's really important that you practice it. So if we have an x degree rotation of triangle ABC about the point Q, our notation is going to look like this. Little r, so we used capital R for reflections, we're using lowercase r for rotation. So we're going to have lowercase r and then in parentheses we have x degrees comma q. So angle of rotation first, then center of rotation. Then we have our pre-image abc and our image is usually a prime b prime c prime. So just use the primes unless it says otherwise in the problem. All right, let's look at some examples. So use the coordinate plane to rotate the following figures about the origin. So here, if you see our center of rotation is an O, this is the origin. All right, so let's look at PQR. We're going to color it red. So here, P, our point P is at 4, negative 4, and Q is at 1, negative 4 and r is at 2, negative 1. All right, and then we're going to rotate these 90 degrees. It doesn't say which direction, so we're going to go counterclockwise. Rotations are more difficult than the other transformations, so it's going to take a little bit more practice, a little longer to get used to. So we want to draw a line from each point to the origin, to our center of rotation, and then we want to go 90 degrees counterclockwise, which is this direction, um, in, in our circle. So uh, let's see, if I went up 1 over 2, then I'm going to go up 2 over 1, and 90 degrees is going to put me in this next quadrant. So remember, um, oh geez, there's so many different ways to teach rotations. Uh, the way that I find most useful is just to count how much you went up and over from the point to your origin. So again, I went up 1 over 2 to get from R to the origin. And if I go up 1 over 2, I would have ended up, and I'll do it in green really quick, I would have ended up here. Now if we look, that doesn't look like 90 degrees. We want a 90 degree rotation. And from our first segment, from R to the origin, and then this green piece, that's definitely not 90. So instead of going up 1 over 2 and then up 1 over 2, we kind of want to switch the ups and overs. So if I go up 1 over 2, I'm going to go up 2 over 1. That gives me 90 degrees, and that's going to give me R prime. All right, so let's do the same thing for all the other ones. So P, all the way to the origin, is up 4 over 4. So in this case, I would go up 4 over 4 and make sure you are in the correct quadrant. So the correct part, the next part of your graph with a 90 degree rotation is going to look like that. That definitely looks like 90 degrees. All right, now my lines are going to get a little confusing at this point, so I'm going to erase them. All right, so here, now for Q, we went from Q to the origin, so up 4 over 1. 
I want to go up one over four, make sure I'm in the correct quadrant. And you can draw your line and make sure that that looks like a 90 degree rotation. This is 90 degrees around the origin. I went the correct direction, so I'm good for my Q prime. All right, so my 90 degree rotation of my image is going to look like that. So here, I want to put my coordinates of my graph. So P prime ended up at 4, 4. Q prime is at 4, 1. And R prime is at 1, 2. Now we're going to find a pattern in these numbers after we do these rotations to help you if you like some shortcuts or if you like to double check your work. All right, uh, let's do the next one. So I'm going to color it blue. We've got the same P, Q, and R. So 4, negative 4, 1, negative 4, and 2, negative 1. We're using the same points. This time we're going to go 180 degrees. So a couple ways we could do this. We could take our 90 degree rotation and rotate it another 90, but 180 degrees is a little easier than that. We want to go from our points to the origin. And then 180 degrees is a straight line. So we're just going to go straight through the origin, the same distance on the other side. So if I went up 1 over 2, I'm going to go up 1 over 2 right straight like a slope. You can think of it like a slope. We want the slope to stay the same in the same amount because we want that 180 degree straight line. All right, uh, let's see. So P, we went up 4 over 4. I'm going to go up 4 over 4. Here's my P prime straight through the origin. If I drew my line, it would go straight through the origin. Um, and again, the lines are going to get a little messy, so I'm going to erase them as I go. Q, I would go up 4 over 1, up 4 over 1. Again, we can draw our line to make sure that really does go straight through, which it does. Now. We have to be really careful when we label these, and it gave us a little hint inside the problem itself, but because we already have Q prime, R prime, and P prime, we want to label these with double primes. So P double prime, R double prime, and Q double prime is our 180 degree rotation. Now let's get our coordinates in there. We've got negative four, positive four, for P pri double prime, uh, negative one, positive four. For Q double prime, and negative two, positive one. For R double prime. All right, last one. So we want a 270 degree rotation. This is going to be 90 degrees in the other direction. So really, all you need to know is how to go 90 degrees. We can go 90 degrees clockwise instead of counterclockwise. All right, so we have our original points. And I'm going to color this one green. So for our triple primes, our 270 degree rotation, I'm going to go from each point to the origin and then 90 degrees clockwise uh, this time instead of counterclockwise. So if I went up 4 over 4, I want to end up in this quadrant here. There's my 90 degrees clockwise for my triple prime point, my 270 degree rotation. All right, quickly let's do the rest of these. So Q triple prime, I'm going to go up 4 over 1. So I want to go over four, down one, there's Q. All right, and then R goes up one over two, so I wanna go, um, let's see, over one, down two. And we can just draw our line to make sure that looks like 90 degrees. You can always draw your line if you're not sure, just to double check. All right, and there's my 270 degree rotation there. So my points. P triple prime ended up at negative 4, negative 4. Q triple prime is at negative 4, negative 1. And R triple prime is at negative 1, negative 2. So now let's look at these numbers. And we can actually find a pattern in the numbers based on the rotation around the origin. It only works around the origin when you're going counterclockwise. But here we go. So our first set of points, if we look at P to P prime, we went from 4, negative 4 to 4, 4. If we look at Q 
to q prime, it's a little easier to see. We've got 1, negative 4 to positive 4, positive 1. So first thing we notice is that the x and the y switch places. The 1 and the 4 switched places, and the y ended up changing signs. The 1 was positive. It stayed positive with q and q prime. But the 4 started out as negative, and then it changed to positive. So it's going to be negative y positive x. All right, um, 180 degree rotation. So if we look at those, x and y did not switch spots. If we look at r and r prime, for example, 2 negative 1 to negative 1, or 2 positive 1. So the x and the y stay in the same spot, but they both change signs. So negative x, negative y. Our 270 degree rotation, we have, um, let's see, our x and our y switch spots again from 1, negative 4 to negative 4, negative 1 for q. So we want to switch our x and our y and then look to see which one switched sign. So uh, let's see, 1 switched signs to negative 1 and negative 4 stayed negative 4. So it's our x in this case that's going to become negative. The y is going to stay the same. And 360 degrees for x and y is going to go right back where it started to x and y. All right, and that concludes our lesson on rotations. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, math is fundamental.